Mahershala Ali just won a Golden Globe for his portrayal of real-life classical pianist Dr. Don Shirley in Green Book. But while accepting the award, he forgot to thank one of the most important people behind the film and his performance. Chris Bowers, who who doubled for me and was the composer, and I'm so upset that I forgot to, I, it was a, so much was happening up on stage, just in my mind I forgot to thank Chris Bowers. Chris Bowers has previously worked as a composer on television shows like Dear White People, but for Green Book, not only did Bowers have to transcribe Shirley's music by ear while composing the score, he also taught Ali how to play piano and was the actor's double in the film that follows Shirley's journey performing across the South in the 1960s. While Bowers was honored for his work on Green Book, the Critics' Choice Award nomination, he's not eligible for an Oscar nom because the majority of the score is existing music originally written by Dr. Shirley. The forthcoming episode of The Hollywood Reporter's creator series, Magic Hour, takes a look at how Bowers helped shape the award-winning film and Ollie's performance. I was like playing in the air to show him where he should be on the keyboard throughout the songs. The way they combined it and the visual effects of it all it's pretty amazing because we didn't do any green screens, we didn't have any like anything we had to wear. All it was was just making sure that it matching our body movement. Sometimes it's just my feet, sometimes it's just my hands. According to Bowers, his parents decided they wanted him to play piano before he was born. From using his musical skills to impress his friends and girls in high school. That was my way of actually being cooler, quote unquote, than I was. I mean, I was a music nerd. To working with Jay-Z and Kanye on their Watch the Throne album. The new Magic Hour episode chronicles how Bauer's musical journey led him to work on Green Book. Somehow my life prepared me very perfectly for this scenario. And of course he reveals that his Magic Hour, the time when he does his best work is, well, to find out, watch the latest episode of Magic Hour debuting Saturday, January 12th. To catch this episode and all the others, head on over to youtube.com slash Hollywood Reporter. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.